Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can actually uh, calculate multiple stock cumulative returns using Python. So I think in my previous tutorial, I was teaching you all how to calculate the cumulative returns for one individual stock. And in that tutorial, I was using Tesla. So the difference between that tutorial and this part two of the tutorial series is that I'm going to teach you how to calculate multiple stocks cumulative returns. So to start off, you have to import the necessary libraries. In this case, uh, we here have Pandas, Y Finance, as well as NumPy. So first and foremost, let's create a list, uh, which is the list of stocks that we are going to be using. So in the list of stocks we are using today, it will be Amazon, JP Morgan, Mastercard, and Tesla. In the stock list, it will be all the symbols for the stocks that I have mentioned earlier on. Next, we will define a function and we will define and call it as stock daily return. And uh, the argument will be stock. So basically, the stock is actually all the individual stock in the list. We will let tickle equals to stock. And then let the tickle be the argument inside yf.download. YF which stands for Y Finance. Similarly, you have the start and end date, let the progress be false. Since you did not actually define the interval, yf.download will assume that it is a daily uh, price changes that you are looking for or daily financial data that you are looking for. So, uh, actually Tico DF will have a few columns some are open, high, low, and uh, so on and so forth. But uh, what we will be using to calculate the daily returns will be the adjusted close. Similarly, from the previous tutorial, we will be using the adjusted close percentage change to calculate the daily return. So we will let tickle underscore df square bracket daily returns to be what you're looking for. And we'll return the value of the Tico DF bracket daily return. So next, uh, you'll need to create a data frame. Uh, let this data frame be called portfolio underscore returns. And we'll let the columns to be equal to stocks. So for stock in stocks, whereby this stock refers to the stocks that I have mentioned, when while I was creating the list, so you will loop through the stocks. So we will let one underscore stock underscore returns equals to the function that I have uh, defined earlier on. And the argument will be stock, which is part of the stocks. So this one stock return will have the value of the percentage change of the adjusted function for each individual stock. So we will let one stock returns in equals to the data frame that I've mentioned early on. So when we print portfolio underscore return, we will get the percentage change for Amazon, JP Morgan, MasterCard, as well as Tesla. So to calculate the cumulative returns, we will be using the formula that I have used in the previous tutorial, which is one plus portfolio underscore return dot cumulative or C C U M product P R O D bracket minus one. So basically the cumulative returns will show all the cumulative returns for the individuals for the four stocks. We can also plot the cumulative returns plot to see how how each stock performs during the first half of the 2020. As you can see from the graph, Tesla stock actually performed the best. And uh, if you hold the Tesla stock from January 1st, 2020 to the end of the May 2020, you will achieve the highest cumulative returns. Similarly, you can also look at the maximum cumulative returns for each individual stock by using cumulative returns dot max. As mentioned earlier on, we can also look at the minimum cumulative returns during the first half 
of 2020 by using cumulative return stop meme so this is the end of my tutorial or tutorial part 2 if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below if not thank you for watching